Welcome to Mubola TV. So on this channel, every Tuesday we'll post football content like this, and every Friday we'll post food related content like in this playlist. If you're not subscribed, what you're waiting for? Deeper Silicon and hit that subscribe button so you will not miss a thing. With that, let's begin. Here are 5 things we learned in Premier League game week 7. Always mistake again. We drew against Everton at home 1 1. Again, disappointing performance from Fred. He was the cause of how Everton scored. If you look at the stats, as always, we seem to have all the stats in our favor, but somehow we just end up either drawing or we lose, you know? That's the problem with United right now under Ole. There is no identity, no certain play style, there's no threat. I mean, we have a solid team, good squad that, but still, the execution, the style of play is not there. Personally, I feel like it's time for Ole to go. He's just not not good enough. I mean, you have such an amazing squad, but you know, you still fail to deliver. So, what's the problem, right? Number two, Chelsea favorites. Chelsea menang lawan Southampton 3-1. Chelsea dominate game two dengan 61.6%. And Southampton just 38.4% saja. Total shot Chelsea 20 shot and 9 on target. Meanwhile Southampton 6 shot saja dan 2 shot on target. Chelsea dominate the first half, boleh score banyak tapi ada disallowed goal. Then also offside. And second half tu mistake by Chilwell menyebabkan dia orang dapat penalty satu sama. So Chelsea terpaksa ambil goal last minute untuk menangkan game tu. So ini nampak champion mindset daripada Chelsea sebab daripada dua kalah and this nampak macam bounce back Tuchel juga main player macam Blasocic, Barclay, Odoi nampak diorang ni betul-betul semangat nak prove themselves kat Tuchel yang diorang boleh main 10 over 10 to all of them including Chaloba score dia dia beli goal awal-awal tu rasanya favourites tu ya yeah, tapi ni still awal lagi so nak kata sebab City, Liverpool pun kuat Manchester United mungkin akan datang dia punya form balik so overall rasanya Chelsea akan and I did on top 4 too sampai end of the season Number 3 Arsenal survived against Brighton so it was a nil-nil draw between Arsenal and Brighton Both teams were really struggle with the condition in Brighton where it was really windy in that game The positive feedback from Arsenal in that game I think is great performance by Ramsdale and also our defensive line pulled strongly against Brighton offensive I hope this performance will maintain from our defensive line and also our keeper moving forward and we will start winning more games Number 4 Brighton could make into the top four. So far, they had won four games, two draws, and also just one loss to Everton. So far this season, I think they start really well. They started really well, and I think if they can maintain this good performance, not losing and also keep winning matches, they could be a potential threat and they could end up in the top four. So look out for Brighton this season. Number five, Mo Salah is phenomenal. Yes, you can be a Liverpool fan. Chelsea fan or Man United fan, you can't deny Mo Salah is just amazing. Man, he's just so nice to watch. I know Liverpool didn't win. They are 2-2 draw against Man City in the last game. But every time Mo Salah got the ball, you know he's going to do something. He just dribble past someone. He's so fast. He's so agile. So in that game, he had 84% pass accuracy. There were 8 tempted take-ons. They had a Lima success. Lima attempted tackles, but successful. 3 shots, 2 big chances, 1 goal, 1 assist. How great is that? Even in Fantasy Premier League, he got 13 points this week. And overall, it's been 7 weeks. Kan? There were 7 weeks, he got 70 points. So that, on average, is 10 points a week. They much as somebody young, if you don't have in your team, is a loss. Because against small teams when they turn up, against big teams when they turn up, that's amazing, man. So up next, they have one Watford. So yeah, I think he will continue his form lah against Watford. I bet he's gonna Isaac score or assist or even both again. <laughs> yeah, it's Mo Salah. He's been doing this for many seasons now. Thank you for watching. If you have not subscribed to the channel, leave Priscilla can hit the subscribe button and join us here at Bola TV.